Hello and welcome to the Adamela 2.0 tour. I'm really excited to show this island. It's been quite a journey. I am calling this my 2.0 island because I actually finished this same island a while ago and decided to flatten rather than reset because I'm still in my first year of playing. So this is the city core version of my island that I actually had planned to finish in the summer. And here's my entrance, by the way. Um, I'm just gonna be walking around while I talk about this island. Uh, most of the builds are pretty self-explanatory, little crafting area here in the front. So I had planned to finish this island in the summer, but I didn't really end up getting too far. I mostly got the general layout after flattening and got a lot of the custom design paths down. A um, couple builds that I was able to get done, but I never really finished this island for summer. Um, and I actually put down Animal Crossing for quite a while. I wasn't playing for a few months actually. And then I got sick a couple weeks ago and I was home and I played a lot of Animal Crossing in that week that I was sick. Uh, and I ended up pretty much getting this island about 80% done. And so this island really was built up in about two weeks. I'm really inspired by Lis the Lass. I really like her idea of having a seasonal island. So for now, for me, that's what I'm gonna do with this island is just change out the decorations and the builds to be fitting for each season. Um, and I have no plans to really reset anytime soon. So here is my resident services. I have this uh, little area out here in front that I can change out for whatever um, season it is. So this island is pretty Halloween. It's mostly decorated for Halloween. Here we have a cute little pumpkin carving station. A lot of the paths that I use are also um, the same ones that Liz uses. I just think they're really simplistic. I think they transition well to different seasons and you're not limited to having to change them out depending on what the grass looks like or what season it is. So that's one of the reasons why I also chose that, these paths. Um, here is a little pumpkin patch. Coming back down here, if we follow this road, something that I really wanted to do when I was deciding to do city core is I really wanted to have a tiered villager neighborhood. And so that is this build. It was one of the very first things that I ever did on this island. Something that I did when I first started playing Animal Crossing and decorating my island was I based a lot of my designing around the kind of aesthetic and the feel of the different buildings. So a lot of the exterior of villagers' houses determined how I would decorate it around it. And I wanted a neighborhood like this so I could just bring in and bring out whatever villagers, no matter what their house looked like, even though now you could change them. So this is Coulson's yard and his and as well as pretty much everyone else's yards are decorated for Halloween, but I'm probably going to change them out um, as we get, you know, further away from Halloween so that it could be more tailored to whatever villager is there. Um, it's something else Liz the Last does. She has like personalized villager yards for all her villagers. And I think that's a pretty cute idea, so I want to try and incorporate that into my island as well. So going up to the second level, oh, wait, actually, before, uh, this is Kuo-sen and this is Flurry. And on the second level, we have Tangy and Tensheng. I guess I never showed you my map, um, but I do plan on changing out my villagers. A lot of them are pretty much the same in the, from the last version of my island, except for Cherry and Kuo-sen. I actually want to hunt for... Um, more like fall and wintry villagers soon. I obviously will keep a few of them like Tangy and I think I want to keep Phoebe because she is someone that I've had since um, like day one of this island. So these are these villager yards. They are also decorated for Halloween. And moving up to this top tier, this is my, my house. <laughs> Fun fact, my dream address is actually placed on the day of one year from my island starting so i actually haven't played for a full year but i've time traveled to kind of finish up the last days and to get like halloween items um so i never actually played the halloween event before i just kind of got the diys and the furniture and stuff from a treasure island uh, my house and a lot of my villager houses are not done except for Quilson and Cherry I think are the only ones that have their houses decorated um, but I wanted to put the cake out here just to symbolize like in the fall is when I started playing so it's like my one year of anniversary of 
playing this game, which is pretty cool. On this side, there's like a little apple tree farm, very fall. And here, there's like a view of um, this kind of park area down there, but we'll actually go the other way. Parts of my island are very accessible to each other, and it's really easy to get around. There's a lot of different ways to. So here's my resident services. There's KK and Tangy having a good time over there. And if you go up behind, there's kind of this like double staircase thing that brings you up to the shopping district. So there's another little seasonal area that I actually saw on Reddit and I'll post like pictures of uh, what I was inspired by. Right now the area is obviously decorated for Halloween. To the right over here, we just have like a little community sitting area and another crafting station. On my Able Sisters, I have this kind of a setup here that doesn't really change, but I do change out the clothing here depending on what season it is, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, up here is my museum and there's another road. This is where all my fruit trees are. Uh, in my last island, I had a similar build like this and I love it so much with the lights in between that I had to put it on this island as well. I'm gonna say about like 80% of the builds on this island are definitely not my original idea. I just take inspiration and it's hard for me to build without having references. So um, I just build whatever I see on the internet that I like. Like this basketball court, past this, there's just this little like lifting area for the gains. Um, if we go over here to the left, um, this is actually going kind of like the opposite way. So the stairs that you saw in my entrance um, leads up to this area. So over here we have like a little ramen shop and I have this area that can also be changed out depending on the season. So if it's summer, it might not be ramen. It might be something else. I might change it out even for the winter. Um, and there's another little area like this that I've turned into a coffee shop. Um, that's very autumn, very cozy vibes. You know, just like a random thing down here because I love this item and had to use it. This part of my island is very much inspired by a video I saw on Lex Plays, one of her 15 ideas. Um, here we have gifts. I do have my dream address um, uploaded so when you come, you can get a little fall outfit and some other goodies. And this brings us back to my entrance. So let's go back up. This road over here, here's Diana looking cute. This area here I made because I still want to be able to fish and have like access to wherever, like all the different places that fishes can spawn. So like I needed a level one pond. So that's why this is here. Um, but I like sunken in areas. And like I said, I wanted it to be like city core, but maybe like developing city. Like it's not, a completely like hashed out like city city and I like having a mix because I do still like doing natural builds even though city core seems to be what I'm leaning towards going up here this is another kind of like villager neighborhood um, so here we have Diana's house um, on this side as well as Norma's house like I said everything is pretty decked out for Halloween up here we have like a rooftop garden it's kind of like one in a my idea up here so that I can have access to all the um, crops still and I think it turned out pretty cute it was like one of the last builds that I did so yeah that's fun and then um, if we go back down you can go back down this way as well um, a lot of my beaches have flowers so that as the seasons change I can easily have access to flowers mostly like hybrids I don't really have like the the basic ones out there but yeah. Okay, moving along, up here we have Cherry's house and her yard, as well as Chief. So this is like a different kind of layout for a uh, neighborhood, but I thought it's it was pretty cute to use the bridges up here. If you go this way, it's above like where the little tree thing is here. Um, okay, so moving along, if you follow the road this way, as you can see, like the way the tiles are placed and the different roads, it really leans itself toward being able to be changed out whenever and however, because they're literally just mini areas for builds, um, like designated areas for builds. So you can, it's really easy to change it out. So right now here is a farmer's market and this little like, I don't know, seating area thing. I tried to do like a centerpiece idea. Um, it, it's okay. <laughs> 
definitely not the best at doing those kinds of builds. Back here is where like the most natural stuff is. It used to be a rainbow flower garden, but I decided to change it for the fall because I didn't want my island to be just Halloween. I wanted to have it be autumn in general. So um, mushroom season is coming up and that's kind of like the season when I started playing Animal Crossing when the mushrooms were on the ground. So I have this little mushroom, like, I don't know what I would call this, a garden or just like a little, more natural area and I have a lake because I think islands with big lakes are really cool. Uh, here we have a canal so it kind of divides the two halves of my island I guess. So there's a canal here um, with these bridges. Now there's not a lot of water and I wanted to still use bridges because they're so pretty. Um, so it all connects over here and if you walk down here you end up at the villager neighborhood again. Um, so if you keep going up, this is like a little park. This area over here is one of the few places that I had finished when it was still summer. And it was like a park, but it was very like bright and green and blue and yellow, I think. And I changed it to be more autumnal colors. So it's a park with this little soccer field. And this is what we were looking at from the top of my house. So that's what I mean by like, I like my island to be very accessible. Um, and I like being able to access and get to areas pretty quickly without having to run all the way across the island. So here's a little soccer field and then a little pond area. Okay, so we keep going. This is kind of like the last two villager houses. It's Phoebe and Marshall. Phoebe and Marshall's houses are really the only ones that aren't really just for Halloween. I wanted to give Phoebe like a little bakery because I wanted to use this clay furnace item, but I forgot to put like the big goods on this table so that's a little awkward and then Marshall I just gave I don't know to these washing machines and clothes for some reason um, but if you go back down over here it leads you to that mushroom place we were talking about so this is how I'm like kind of choosing to incorporate like natural really natural builds having this kind of like grassy area in the back of my islands so that I can still build naturally if I want to so yeah I think this area is pretty cute I like the illumination of the mushrooms and the red trees and stuff I'm excited to have this island done for the fall so that I can play in real time and not worry about finishing and I get to just enjoy the season change because after I finish recording this I'm gonna go back to real time and just play normally and just enjoy and start planning for winter. I'll just do some quick running around um, and showing my beaches there, like kind of decorated, but just with like kind of pretty random stuff. Um, as you can see here. Here are the orange flowers that I was talking about. And this is something that I actually kept from when my island was still like built really naturally. Uh, it used to be flamingos and I changed it into pumpkins. It used to be very pink, so I just made it more fall-like. And my rock garden is also the same from my last island because I was not gonna try and respawn my rocks anywhere else. So I really wanted to try and get my rocks to still be incorporated into my island. Um, there's a lot of these ladders hidden throughout so I can like get to different places as well. Oh, I did not mean to do that, my bad. Um, so there's like a ladder there, so things are accessible, like I've been saying. And then over here, this leads you to that second villager neighborhood we saw. Um, and then over here we have like my hybrid flowers, which look very pretty over here. Okay, so I'm editing this, it's a couple days later, and I realized I totally forgot to show like, a whole beach and the whole right side of my island which is where my campsite is um so <laughs> from my house there's a couple ways to get down there you can go down these ladders here and here's my campsite so this beach is pretty decorated like pretty naturally just like with bonfires and you know things you would find on a beach there's like a a volleyball court over here a snack machine my dock is very simple. I put a froggy chair. That was like literally the last thing I did and I just put whatever items I had in my storage. Um, yeah, here's the beach and it's uh, where we're going. It's to the right of this 
neighborhood here. So if you go up, there's my campsite and there's a little eating area next to it. It's on the peninsula, as you can tell. And if you're wondering who's in here, it's Mayel. Here's some more hybrid flowers, green mums and stuff. And then just, you know, this is decorated pretty simply, just so they're not like very bare. Um, okay, and now that's like this part of my island. So I think that's pretty much it. I am really happy with my island. I'm kind of, it's kind of crazy how I finished it like in such a short amount of time because it was very much not really developed um, to, at this time like two weeks ago. I think it's special that my dream address for the second rendition of my island is set to exactly a year after, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. I will post the DA as well as any of the um, codes that I use. If I can, I will post them. I don't have all of them, but if I do, I will. Um, but yeah, I think what's next for my island is to um, start changing out villagers. I want to try and get like pretty fall and wintry villagers on my island and then like decorate their houses. Probably after Halloween, I'll probably change out um, the villager yard so it's not like super Halloween-y anymore. Because um, right now I'd say my island is pretty much like themed 80% around Halloween. If you want to give my dream address a visit, I would really appreciate it and I'll leave all that information um, down below. Hopefully since um, school is ending in about a month, I can uh, maybe even share the process and do little builds of when I start changing things out for winter. Thank you again for watching and have a good day or night whenever you're watching this.